Once you have logged into the Hair Love app, you'll be taken to this home screen. You're going to want to make sure you scroll over to the Hair Love Live community and then click on that community. If prompted, enter the passcode PIVOT, P-I-V-O-T in all capital letters. Once you enter in the passcode, you'll be taken to the Hair Love Live home screen. If you are watching this event from your phone, you're going to want to click on the mobile stream icon. This will take you to a login page. This login is going to be the same one you use to log into the app. Once you log in, you are then able to watch the event from the phone. If you are watching from your desktop, click on the desktop stream button and that will take you to a set of instructions. On your desktop, go to www.hairlovelive.com and from there you will be prompted to use your username and password that you created when you set up the app and then you will be able to watch the event from your computer. At the end of each day, we will be uploading all of these segments to the replay stream icon. So you'll be able to watch any of the segments whenever you want. The next icon that's really important is the agenda icon. Once you tap on that, you'll be able to see the full schedule from Saturday to Monday. These times are in Mountain Standard times and you may need to adjust depending on where you are at. You are then able to click on specific segments that you would like to join and you can even set a reminder for your phone to remember to tune in. If you would love to share that you are going to be tuning in to Electric Love this weekend, you can click on the post me icon where we've created several story and post size graphics that you can share with your audience. Next is the event game icon. This icon is super important. We will be playing games throughout the entire weekend and this is how you earn points to be entered into our giveaways from our sponsors. We'll be constantly updating this dashboard so you want to make sure and check in all the time. All you have to do to enter a game is click on one of the games and follow the instructions. From there, you'll receive a passcode that you will enter into the game that you're playing and then you'll be able to receive points. A new addition to this year's event is our virtual photo booth. Click on that icon and pick your favorite frame and from there you can take a selfie and save it and post it wherever you would like. Once you get back to the home screen, you can scroll over to the second page of icons and check out the digital swag icon. This has any special coupons or opportunities that our sponsors have decided to include just for our hair love fam. If you want to hang out with any of the coaches that will be teaching this weekend, make sure you click on the meet the coaches icon and check out their profiles and make sure you follow them on Instagram and show them some love. We'll be sending out announcements throughout the event and if you happen to miss any announcement, you can click on the announcement icon and view all of them that have been sent out. Our sponsors icon has all of our favorite brands that are making this event possible. Make sure you check them out and give them some love. We are so grateful to have them on our team. The tribe icon shows you everyone that you've connected with on the app. You can always click on their profile and message them and send them some love. The wall icon is what we use to communicate with everyone on the app. You can get to know everyone by checking out the wall and connecting with everyone tuning into the event. Next, we have the drink menu. We will be having a happy hour during the event and you're more than welcome to make any of these drinks or make your own. At the bottom of your dashboard, you'll see a few different icons. There is a connections icon where you're able to complete friend requests that anyone has sent you. The next icon is the shake icon. Elizabeth will ask everyone as they are tuned in to shake their phones and anyone who is currently on the platform when Elizabeth asks will be able to send friend requests. There is also a message tab where you're able to talk privately with anyone else that you've become friends with on the app.
And lastly, if you ever want to change anything to your profile, just click the profile button in the bottom right hand corner. You'll also want to make sure you are refreshing the app throughout the event so that you have the most up-to-date portion of the app. You can refresh the app by clicking the button in the right-hand corner and then it will automatically refresh your app.